Hey Sagittarians, welcome to your love reading for the beginning of March 2019. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel so that you can get notifications about future readings. Mid-March I'll be doing a full moon reading and at the end of March I'll be doing another love reading. Uh, follow me on Instagram at lunasync, L-U-N-A-S-Y-N-C. I've already shuffled your cards so we're good to go. Um, let's let's sync up. This is you. It's the Hierophant. This is the other, the King of Wands reversed. This is the composite energy. Five of Swords reversed. This is the insight, the Queen of Wands reversed. Oh boy, what is going on here? Well, um, you got a lot of fire happening here. That's your, that's your element, right? The Hierophant, you. So, coming from a place of, like, alignment with your own spiritual code of ethics, or from a place of, like, strong, established belief. Um, sometimes this is religiosity, sometimes it's like established structures, like churches or governments. Um, the Hierophant is a, is a Taurus. Um, so very um, grounded, very rooted, very established, very um, strong. Um, a lot of structure, a lot of support. Um, I will often read the Hierophant as um, a person who is like I said in the beginning, just very aligned with their own spiritual code of ethics, their own belief system. Um, they're in touch with it, they're in tune with it, it is the ground that they walk on, it is um, the ground beneath their feet. Um, and that is you. The other is the King of Wands. So this is somewhat corrupted energy because it's reversed. Um, the King of Wands reversed is somebody who is um, rash, uh, very powerful, yet rash, um, sometimes a little fixed in the way that they do things. Um, it's almost like a king of pentacles type energy in that it's very sort of like there's a stubbornness to it. Um, it looks like the Hierophant is looking at the king of wands and the king of wands is looking, looking off in the distance. Um, so yeah, this is somebody, the other, this is somebody that is like, I don't know, they're not, they're not coming correct. They're not, their energy is a little corrupted. It's, um, it's a little rash. It's a little fixed. Um, it's not very collaborative. It's like, this person is like, I have been, um, I know what's right. As opposed to like, really, really knowing what's right. This is an ego thing. This is a... This is sort of like a, um, a spiritual, um, I mean, I don't want to say spiritual rightness, but like a, this is a spiritual connection. This is an egoic connection. This person is coming from ego. This person is coming from spirit. Okay. The composite energies, how your energies are blending. So this person here. These two people have been in conflict. There's a conflict between these two people. One has um, emerged victorious. However, it's a win at the cost of others. It's also in the reverse. The Queen of Wands and the Insight is um, somebody who uh, is extremely active, extremely busy, extremely involved, sometimes a busy body. It's also a corrupted energy. Um, sometimes get, you know, like she's, she's like in people's business. Um, and so this person, this energy might be at play in this, um, scenario here in this connection here. Let's get some clarifying cards. Cause I, I'm not totally sure what this five of swords reversed is about and the composite energy, except that the energy's blending together. Um, don't seem to depict anything positive. 
I feel like you're coming from a place of like, no, I know what's right. <laughs> and he's coming from a place of also like, uh-uh, no, 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 I know what's right. Um, ultimately, I think that <laughs> if I had to choose sides, I think I'd choose your side. Um, you're upright and you're a major arcana. You're the hierophant. And this has to do with like what's deeply right. What is deeply right? What you know deeply. You know What you know inside of you. What you know inside of your heart. So let's get some clarification cards around the Five of Swords reverse. The, com the blending of your energies together. This is a victory that is not a victory. Okay, two cards fell out. We have the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Is this you and the other? This is somebody who is a master of their emotions. They are very balanced emotionally. They have seen a lot, they've done a lot, they've had a lot of life experiences, and all of that has informed um, their, have, has, inform, has informed them in their current state. Like they're really sitting in their emotional power. They're very stable, very stable. The queen, emotionally stable that is, the queen, <laughs> the queen of pentacles, is somebody who is very financially stable. Like she is the, the epitome of stability and structure and wealth and abundance and prosperity. Um, gosh, this almost seems like a perfect union to me. Like if I wanted to be in a relationship, I'd want to be either one of these people with either one of these people, like the queen of pentacles with the king of cups. That's a beautiful match. <laughs> Somebody doesn't want to fight here, and they don't want to fight because they don't want to hurt the other. And fighting doesn't get you anywhere. Okay, let's let's get some more clarification around the insight, the Queen of Wands. Who is this uh, this person that is either getting a little crispy, a little burnt out because of doing so much? Or getting into other people's business. Ooh, somebody from the past. Somebody from the past coming back to, I don't know, cause trouble? Causing a little bit of trouble there? Who is this person? What do they want? What do we need to know about them? Oh, okay. Yeah. Something is not going to work out in uh, the favor either of this person or in your favor in this scenario. This person's up to no good. Um, let's get one more clarification card around the Queen of Wands reversed. Oh, gosh, that fell out pretty solidly. It's the uh, it's the Six of Pentacles. This is somebody who. looks upon others in a sort of condescending way. Um, she or he likes to have others focusing their attention on her or him and um, wants to come from a place of sort of, I want to use the word dominance, but that's not quite right. Like there's dominance, the words that are coming into my mind are dominance and um, subservience. And so I think that this person really enjoys his or her status as sort of like a dominant energy and enjoys having other people beneath him or her. Um, so if that's ringing a bell with anybody, if that's reminding you of anybody, this person is in the mix, um, up to no good, somebody from the past, somebody who has this sort of dominant, um, submissive type um, approach to dealing with people and walking through life. Um, you're in conflict right now with this, your significant other or the person that you're thinking about for this reading. You both are sort of locking horns because you both feel like you're right. 
I feel like this is who you really are. Like the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Cups. This is your true nature. And so in order to navigate this conflict that seems to be up and coming, that you're really attempting to avoid, um, and to navigate this Queen of Wands who is meddling, um, remember your essential, remember your heart, remember who you are essentially, remember what your relationship is about essentially, and that is like absolute emotional maturity and stability and emotional like depth and power, and um, the contentedness that comes with being the queen of pentacles, you know, the, uh, the stability, the structure, the, um, the prosperity, the financial abundance, or just the abundance in general, the wealth, like the overall wealth. Um, the king and the queen are people who have learned from their life experiences, and they're not petty. Okay, let's pull an approach. Let's pull an approach. I use the uh, medicine cards by Sam and Carson. In a very specific way, I usually will do a reading with a different deck of cards like I've done here, and then I will pull one card, sometimes two or three. I mean, three have been falling out recently, but I try to pull one card to sort of serve as a guiding principle for me moving forward in um, the scenario that's depicted here. It's sometimes an advice card. Um, sometimes it wraps the whole reading up quite nicely. You can um, make sense of the reading in a new and different way. Um, and then sometimes it's just about like, what do I need to know? What's my approach here? How do I need to like come correct in this situation? So let's pull one card. This is for Sagittarius. How should Sagittarius navigate this situation? Which honestly seems a little tricky. There do seem to be, oh, there's our cards. There do seem to be a lot of people involved here. We have a lot of court cards. We have the king, the queen, the king of cups, the queen of pentacles, the queen of wands reversed, the king of wands reversed. Yep, those are the court cards. All right, and we pulled the medicine cards, uh, bear and armadillo. So this is your approach or advice for how to navigate this situation in line with your greatest good. Okay, so bear. Introspection. You need to go inside of your cave and hibernate and get some insight. Let's see. Bear is in the west the intuitive side, the right brain. To hibernate, Bear travels to the cave, which is the center of the four lobes where the pineal gland resides. In the cave, Bear seeks answers while he or she is dreaming or hi hibernating. Bear is then reborn in the spring like the opening of spring flowers. For eons, all seekers of the dream time and of visions have walked the path of silence, calming the internal chatter, reaching the place of rites of passage the channel, or the pin, the pineal, pineal gland. How do you say that? Pineal? Pineal. Uh, okay. From the cave of bear, you find the pathway to the dream lodge and the other levels of imagination or consciousness. In choosing bear, the power of knowing has invited you to enter the silence and become acquainted with the dream lodge so that your goals may become concrete realities. This is the strength of bear. Okay. So taking some time out, dreaming, hibernating, introspection, taking some time out to get very, very, very clear about your path moving forward. And then we have Armadillo, and Armadillo has that beautiful coat of armor, and it's about boundaries. Boundaries. 
If Armadillo has waddled into the cards you chose, it is time to define your space. You may have been too willing to let your home become a bus station. You may find that you cannot say no even when you know that you will have to cancel plans to be obliging. This routine can get old in a hurry. It may be time to ask yourself the following questions. Am I honoring the time I need for my personal enjoyment? Do others treat me like a doormat? Why do I always get upset when I'm taken for granted? Is there a reason for my being a yes person? All of the answers to these questions relate to setting up boundaries, what, will, what you will and won't do, what makes you feel uncomfortable and what is comforting to you. How you react in any circumstance has to do with your ability to be objective. You cannot be objective if you cannot tell where the other person's personality stops and where yours begins. If you have no boundaries, you are like a sponge. It will seem as if all the feelings in a room full of people must be yours. Ask yourself if you are really feeling depressed or if this feeling actually belongs to the person you're talking to. Then allow Armadillo's armor to slice in between, giving you back your sense of self. Yeah, so this is really about getting in touch with your heart, your truth, what you know to be true, your spiritual code of ethics, setting up boundaries in accordance with your spiritual code of ethics, with what you know to be true. You might have to take a time out to do that, to get clear. But this person and this person, um, they're taking a toll on you. You're having to confront them in some way. And it's all backwards. It's all upside down, right? Only you are upright here. Only you are coming correct. The rest of them are just meddling, coming at you from a place of ego, trying to start fights. You know, these are people from the past. Um, they're up to no good. They want you to be subservient to them. Now these personalities here, maybe they're your helpers. Maybe they're the people... <sighs> maybe they're the people that you wish that these people were. I'm kind of getting a sense here that these are parents. Mom and Dad. You wish the, you wish the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles were Mom and Dad. But it's the reverse King of Wands and the reverse Queen of Wands who are mom and dad. Because there's definitely an unequal power distri distribution here. Okay, uh, Sagittarius, I hope this reading resonated with you. If it did, like the video, like the reading, subscribe to my channel. I'll be back mid-March to do the full moon reading and at the end of March to do the uh, another love reading. Um, I hope you have a beautiful week. Until next time.